Dr. Elmer, Advanced Spinal Neurospinal Solutions, and the question is body balance. What's the cause? Okay, the body balance, and, and I'm not sure I'm completely understanding the question, but let's address the idea of the body imbalance. Now, we've already talked many times about vertigo and, and balance issues, uh, the head, that it's three things the head sensors, the body receptors, and, and the, the visual system, those things get dumped into the vestibular nuclei and they give us our response, our reflexive response to those, to those things that happen in our world and to gravity and, and the things that might disrupt us with respect to gravity <clears throat> and that. But in today I'd like to talk about body balance or body imbalance in terms of the, the potential for balance is regulated by the, the uh, ability to have equal tone of muscles right to left, front to back. And so when I have, when I have a lot of imbalances, like let's say, let's say I tend to have a uh, hypotonicity, which means less tone or around my spine on the right, I will tend to bend and curve in this direction. That makes sense. Same thing is happening on the other side. If that's on both, I'm going to tend to bend forward and that. And so there are a lot of, a lot of uh, imbalances that can take place within the body due to that imbalanced tone. Now, when we talk about that imbalanced tone, we have to, we have to discuss what causes it, right? Uh, there's lots of different causes, but the most frequent, and especially, especially as we get older, is that we do things in one direction. Whether, whether it's we're driving, we're walking, we're, we're moving, we do skills that, that everything is on the right side versus the left. Uh, we do sports that are, that are one-sided only. And, that, and in doing that, we're creating strengths in one direction. But you remember, we've talked so many times about reciprocal inhibition, that when, when you contract a muscle neurologically, you're inhibiting its antagonist, the one that does the opposite. And so that's why we wind up over time, everything's forward, and we wind up being forward. Not we're strong muscle wise, we're also strong neurologically at driving that system. We deal with gravity. The, the muscles that deal with gravity are always going to be stronger than the ones that oppose those muscles. And they get weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker as we go. Uh, one of the real common things that I see uh, on a daily basis is people's calf muscles will be so strong and they will go to the gym and they'll really blast them. And as they're really blasting them and getting really strong, stronger, the muscles in the front that cause them to lift their toe get even worse, which is, is horrible. And then they will start winding up with pain in their knee because of the imbalance. And I reach back and I touch an area where there's a nerve kind of out to the to the side in, in the back, and they go, wah! <laughs> and say, you know, that nerve has been beat up. Why? Because you keep contracting it and, 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 and that, and that, that contraction is beating up that nerve, and you don't have anything to soften that, con that contraction against that nerve. You don't, when, when I contract the bicep, I should inhibit the tricep, and it should be, this is going, and this is, slowly letting it out. So it's, we got this smooth transition and it's stable, right? And so we have all of these inconsistencies in the balance of tone and those things are creating old. <laughs> I'm standing old, I'm walking old, I'm, I'm, I'm walking to one side compared to the other, uh, I'm moving with, with I'm so much stronger on one side compared to the other. And so that's created all those imbalances and consistency. So that's, that's the cause of many of them. There are other reasons, 
but this is the by far the most common in that. So hopefully that makes it a little more clear, and we're ready. We're here ready when you're ready to take your life back. Thank you.